Whenever you're alone with a guy and there's a grape around, throw something in his mouth. He just goes, Yo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you know, my son speaks Arabic. <laughs> and the guy was like, wow. <laughs> Should I list my crimes? Did you order a burrito, eat it, and then get on a plane? If you're anywhere in financial district, hashtag try hard. <laughs> you know when you're, <laughs> you know when you see certain hand motions and they feel so inherently Brooklyn. They're just like, yeah, some kind of weird dance wiggle. This like yeah, doing only... an impression of a guy. Yeah, <laughs> they, that's like I saw that guy yesterday. I feel like he is Brooklyn. Right. Yeah. Saw, so, dude. Yeah, I, feel, like I don't know if he likes me. He's or patient not. zero. Yeah, but he's, he's just like a little bit va- like, like ring shorts, a sweater. It's yeah. orange. He's kind of dancing on stage. Yeah, yeah. A thing, and all he kept doing was because Eric chimed in and was like, "Oh, I went to those places. Nice." And he's like, "Did you party? Who'd you party with? What clubs you get into? Was it? Did you party? Did you go there? Did you go here? Did you go to shoot? Did you go to Bacon Fat? Did you go to Big Tits?" He's all about doing the thing. Yeah, whatever yeah. the thing does, is, I mean, he's concerned is, about doing it, which is a way to live. It's a good way. To, it's a way it's that A-way. you expe- you still experience things. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you just have a weird set of priorities. Did you ever see the menu, the thriller movie with I the girl with so. big eyes, red hair girl, big eyes? I don't think so. Oh, it's good. There's a guy who's just so obsessed with dining at the best restaurant, and that's uh in Arizona. I'm from technically you could say Scottsdale, and Scottsdale is kind of known for. Uh, you ever heard the term thirty thousand dollar millionaire? No. It's like 30, that. Thirty thousand? Yeah. Wow. Thirty thousand dollar millionaire. It's like you, yeah, <laughs> That's very oh, yeah. low. But you all live. Scottsdale's like the. It can be a very broy. Like deep, we, we in the cl- It's all about fun, guys. Lobster, mashed potatoes, my BMW, going to the clubs. There's like a lot of that. What does that mean? They have thirty thousand dollars. It's like yeah, you're you're, you're like yeah, you just yeah, you're just and a you're regular person out. that makes like whatever, but you live your lifestyle as if it's like. Every story is still popping bottles. I was gonna say because Scottsdale, I thought was really rich, ritzy. Oh, it can be very. That's what I'm saying. It can be very ritzy. On so the you surface. go down to Old Town, but every it's also easy to do all the things like hit the clubs, hit the lake, hit the golf course. But the you man-made still lake. Be like, Champagne. Actually, I had a. Let's let's enter the pause so yeah. we can just capture all this magic. Um, <sighs> capture it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Overshadowed. <laughs> we're capturing the magic, and we're back at the stand. These lights are. I like these temp. lights. They're not hurting. The, they're not hurting the eyes. You ever go to a hotel mirror and you look in the mirror and you're like, "I'm the sexiest I've ever looked." Yeah, you have the square yeah, light have around the, your pupil. Oh, there's my job. <laughs> yeah. oh. You've always been there. Yeah, I know the old light. Waiting using. for me in this mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for someone to turn hey on the babe, light. Hey, babe. What if we extend our stay? <laughs> Can we get late checkout, please? Pretty please. Also, I feel like we should see other people. I didn't realize how <laughs> fucking hot I was. <laughs> yeah, I'll take my ring back. <laughs> Keeping the ring light though. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, you look so hot in those mirrors. Oh, I know you're like yeah, hotels know what they're doing. What yeah. do you think about gym mirrors? I don't think they do anything. Imp- Sometimes I think they make you look more long or more, more squat depending on oh, like, yeah. what <laughs> what uh what, what part machine of the is in front mir- of the oh, mirror. Because nice. I think if a mirror is bent like with its top folded towards you, you know what I'm saying? I think that makes your chest look bigger, like your oh, shoulders nice. and shit. Because it's all squat. I, uh, you've been in my room. I have many times. Private and professional join the Patreon. Reasons. Join the page. Yeah, check out the truth about overshadowed on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Few conspiracy theories floating around, fueled by none other than Charles, than our enemy, <laughs> my girlfriend. But I have the I have the mirror that's like it's a horizontal lengthwise mirror, but. I'm an idiot, and I'm just like, I need more space. I need it to feel like it's more space in my room. <laughs> so I, 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 I drilled it horizontally above my bed, and it looks so warped, and I look like an Oompa Loompa in that thing. It's giving me body dysmorphia. <laughs> I'm like, will these shorts What fit? a beautiful... Oh. I am three feet tall now. No, I yeah. yawn, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a small little boy. There I am. <laughs> I'm going to a hotel this weekend. I'm excited about it. Look All at right. myself. Oh, where are you going? Hours, Mohegan Sun. Oh, yeah, with uh, Santi, right? No, no, no. That's Friday, oh. Saturday. No, San- Santi's Thursday. Oh, nice. I don't know if we're staying at a hotel or not. Are we? Why would you know? Are you coming? No, no, no. He just might told be. A me. B- I don't know. It's fifteen minutes, three hour drive one way. Whatever. We're not going to lose comedy. Money, you know, you know God, go do comedy somewhere else. Yeah, why not? What are we going to do? I'm doing it here. Yeah, hang out in the city. Yeah, it's weird because it feels like the thing you got to do, and it's like, why are you doing that? Yeah, it it's pers- both. You know, it's both. yeah, it's both. You I do appreciate you. You get me back, and they're like, we gotta. We're in New York. We gotta do the thing. You know, we gotta uh, justify living here. But it also gets me. It's nice to have that group chat because. Uh, Someone will chime in, I think one, three of us, because I was thinking about it, and then Eric's in that mindset where he's like, 
ah, you know, yesterday I stayed in and I also kind of felt like a loser because my phone fucked up. And I got everybody, I texted them like, what's up, what's up to like a few different people. And then all night I was like, dang, nobody texted. I was like, all right, well, that's <laughs> fine. You know, everybody's busy. Everybody I texted is really busy tonight. Is there a party? <laughs> but and I was like, okay, I'll stay in. But the, and then the next day, because because I stayed in Friday, I was like, that was nice. Got organized. Maybe I should do it again. But you should just set a timer right, and go build out. A cave, build a board up my windows. Yeah, <laughs> be as productive as I can. Go be. buy a bunch of rice for the apocalypse. <laughs> then everybody's gonna want to book me. The content apocalypse. <laughs> I'm about to rain hail. I saw this article that COVID's coming back. I gotta better get used to doing Zoom comedy practice. <laughs> but Eric was like, I stayed in yesterday. I got some FOMO, and I was like, Me too. Fuck this. Let's yeah, go yeah, out. Yeah, you, you gotta know? go out. So I appreciate it because your anxiety rubs off on me. It's like a little wildfire spreading. But it's a good, you know, you got to get out there. Got to get out. And it's easy to be friends. And also what I've noticed after being here a couple of years, I had a couple of moments where I was the only one. Like sometimes you just show up to a show and you're just not talking to people. You're like, ah, fuck. Like I came at a point where the circles are formed. Circles are formed. And like I can can hop in. But like, like yesterday. But I came though. There's like younger comedians at Sash. Don't start. Don't start back leading yeah. here. Charles is editing from the pod chair. Yeah. So anyway. Well, apparently I have to. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Caused a lot of problems in my life. Um. But now I think I'm at the point where you go to a show and like even if people aren't talking to you or those lulls, I'm like I don't care. Sure. I'm out. I'm here. Why not? I don't really like these guys anyway. Uh, but I will be. <laughs> you know, whatever. Like I'm nice to everybody, but I'm like. I don't talk to you guys often, so if you don't talk to me, I get it. Sure. I'm here. I'll ch- I'll chime in with a laugh. I'm, I'm a little less shy. It depends on the place, but also about like, hey, I'm Zach. Yeah. yeah. I try to do that. Uh, you know? I did that. Believing that you are somebody helps with that, because if, you, yeah. uh, if you're like, uh, I'm nobody, why would you know me? Then you don't introduce yourself. Exactly. And then you were never at the thing. Right. I went to Harris and Alex's show, and um, you know, you know the showrunners, but there's comedians there that I don't know. And uh, before we all left, before I left, they were all in conversation. I was just like, hey, Charles, good set, just individually. And I was like, sorry, goodbye. Yeah. Just like, it's, it's worth it just to be like, they're not going to remember anyway, but at least you made an effort. Yeah, I went to that, I went to that DTF thing. Mm-hmm. And it was very cool, very well set up. It really felt like a film studio. It was interesting because you go into a comedy show, like you, you, you walk into a room and you assess the room itself. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, high ceilings, it's pretty far back. There could be some din from the bar whatever but it was like a taping so it very much looked like a film studio where you walk in you know what i mean like i'm assessing space, how the show is going to be yeah but in terms of what youtube you viewers are going to see it's just this which looks like very well put together beautiful and everything do you know what i mean it's yeah like, i know yeah i have like we said yes directors. the whole time well i'm sorry Jeez. i want <laughs> give me a I don't know how else okay. to sh- <laughs> fucking uh, taper this tail here, but I understand what you're saying. Okay. Zach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just need to know you hear me. Jesus. Where's my weed? <laughs> <laughs> they brought me down, dude. I was on a. Cl- no, I'm kidding. I'm just messing around. Um, okay. You really hear so my feelings. I know. Well, you I noticed because you didn't start making fun of me. Uh, That's cats. We're playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm overstimulated. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So. Oh, I was there the whole time. <laughs> I was there the whole time. That's I got so I was like, Santiago's like, hey, you want to go? You want to go fist our mouths? And I was like, I got to talk to the owner producer guy. Like, I've, I've, I was here, so I, I, I need to make sure that I plant my flag. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? You definitely, yeah. I can't go to a show, stay the whole time, and then not say hi to the guy. That's insane. Yeah. That's and insane behavior But it's now. better to, dang, did my weed disappear? No, no, no. I, you piece of shit. I'm not, I was. This is taped. Keeping it safe. Check where that I was. was. Keeping, keeping it, safe. it safe. Like, it's so dangerous. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just trying to act broke more. broke your computer. I know, I'm trying to fun. act more. That was an exercise for me, and I appreciate you <laughs> coming along for the ride. Um, Man. What? Maybe I, I, maybe I shouldn't get. Very nice. Maybe I shouldn't get. I'm kind of I'm pretty high. Charles, do whatever you got to do. I know, but maybe I'm just. We haven't had a little high Charles fun pod in a while. It's true. <laughs> do whatever you want. This has been after work and stuff, and I've just been like. <laughs> Yeah, I think work does contribute to me just being like, "Fuck, man." Uh huh. Sometimes, and I you're also like, "I gotta make it." Yeah, it does. Cause I'm like, "Sorry, Fuck dude, I'm bi- I gotta make yeah. it. I'm busy making it." It's tough to get off a job where you're like, "God damn it!" All right, let's. It's just. I guess it's hey, harder for me yeah. to turn on. Sure. Yeah. It's hey, fine. let's. <coughs> Cleopatra. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously I'm, I'm sensitive. I'm asking you if you understand for th- three times in a row, but I feel good, and I also I think all that stuff is gone about like being at a show and being like, um. 
Right. Yeah. It's just I feel like I knew that would happen, too, because I would see other people in the upper class (laughs) doing stuff like that. And I'm like, sometimes I'm like, oh, you need to be early 30s just to be so fucking fed up with not being somewhere that you're like, no, no, no. You're insistent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. I'm like, I don't even know if it's about talent. I think it's about frustration building up. Yeah, and then you. just being like, like, I'm fucking 30? Yeah. And it's time. Charles, 31, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Book me. Pretty good. Send you a tape? Won't do you wrong. <laughs> nice guy overall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're presenting your stats. Good hang. Great in a car. Good stuff. Can drive, don't have a car. But if you get tired, I'm your guy. I'll support your bits. I won't steamroll you. I'll do good. I'm your guy in the sidecar. Funnier than a lot of your friends here. <laughs> <That's what> you <laughs> <want>. <laughs> a lot of your openers stink. I'm the dung beetle, baby. Rolling that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a nice and good for you, okay, sir? Make it a nice nest. Now, please, out of my Mr. Dung. 21-year-old, book me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> touring. Please, touring 21-year-old. <laughs> I'd love to I come I require your services. I, I, I come to you on bent knee. <laughs> please, let me open for you. I know you. knowledge about tags that I may share. <laughs> You speak of the old ways. Would you trade tags for vibes? <laughs> I come seeking vibes. I'm about ready to clock in. All right, let me piss one more time. <laughs> you know, fuck. It's yeah, it's really? The, it's the, yeah, of course. Who am I? We were late to a show, uh, me, Nick, and Manth, and we were in a Tesla too. So we were trying to manage the energy we had. You've been in a Tesla. Have you like r- had to drive and like manage all a Tesla over, all over the country, baby? Really? Yeah, that's how we got to most of our gigs. Trip? Was driving in a Tesla, like ten hours in a Tesla. So you had to stop to recharge. Yeah, which was fortunate because you had to piss anyway. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh no. The Tesla's empty. I don't get why people I'm are so angry full. that I have to piss. This is why. People I'm get mad because they're like, oh. This is why. And I'm like, I'm afflicted. Yeah, Welcome to a portion us. of my life. Well, it's hurting yeah, everyone around I'm you. I'm just the carrier of the bad. Like, I'm not the one. AIDS. I, I'm not like, oh, everybody's liking this. Oh. Yeah. You're like AIDS to a road trip. You slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. Also, the rest, drop, rest stops are cool. Some of them are <laughs> giant gas stations you could buy a room in. I'm trying to stop and smell the rest stops, I want to see America. <laughs> Some of them are dedicated to telling sa- sex traffickers will kill you. Have you, you seen sure? those ones? Yeah, I have. Those are crazy. The outposts? Yeah, the big <laughs> one. And they got the fox. Yeah, the... Uh, the wolf costume. Right. The Kutcher outposts. Yeah. yeah. Well, he resigned. He did. R.I.P. R.I.P. Weird. He's Weird. like, you know what? Fuck victims in general. I'm just not going to do it. I made a boo Hey, you guys don't want me to talk about him? I won't talk about him. I guess I won't talk about victims in any, in any way. Yeah. It's that, that part of the uh, industry or whatever. That's how still backward they are. Oh, we don't like that letter. All right, we'll stop helping stop kids help. get fucked. <laughs> yeah. If you could, please. Yeah. We're all doing nothing, but we don't want you to be trying. Put them back in the van. Have a seat. Yeah. I'm going to bring on. the kid into you. The have kid, a, why don't you have a seat? If the, if I, got a great, I got a selection of kids for you to fuck. If that kid was saved and then he saw you, he'd be like, I'm going back. I can't be seen with some type of hypocrite. I got to get back into the slave trade. Photographer wannabe. Hot wife having savior wife of having kids. Bitch. Come on. Autistic brother loving. <laughs> All right, I'm going to piss. Oh, yeah, you got to piss. And then I'll tell me the Tesla thing before the piss or pre-piss or post-piss. I can tell you. I want some urgency out of you. This is why, because we, um, we were already like, if we didn't stop, we were going to be just on time to start the setup. So it, when time is tight and you're driving with a guy whose bladder is small, you know, there's going to be some conflict. We were like stuck in traffic on the highway. I'm like, could you imagine if Charles had to piss additionally? I would it's have like to in Tarzan when they're like, it can't get any worse. And then it starts raining, your piss. <laughs> you remember that scene in Tarzan? No, no, I didn't see it. No, when Jane gets golden showered by Charles, no, who's fun. in the canopy, <laughs> spraying down. Sorry, there's a little bit more. <laughs> he had nothing. He had no rebuttal. I had something, but it's more important to me. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you bring up that Charles pees too much. He's always, he's always like, it's not healthy to have a full bladder. What do you want me to do? You want me to die? You want me to shorten my life so I could chit-chat on mic with you in my Nona's basement? You think that's more important to me? It's not. Oh, All righty. Yeah. Righty. yeah. <laughs> All well, right. We both got a little high. Yeah. So this is just going to be a fun hangout, a little Chuck and Zach Overshadowed chill time. Yep. Turn that hat to, what is that, 5 o'clock? It's 5 o'clock five somewhere. somewhere. His head. Well, now we're going back in time. Charles, you're getting younger. <laughs> Stop turning your hat. <laughs> Molly and I had this, uh, this joint yesterday that 
was making her very giggly and stuff. She was like, yeah, she was complaining about the same thing you were. She's like, it's all Indica. I was trying to find a sativa. This one's good. Yeah, because it puts you... I, I don't want to be tired no, and high. I know. Well, that's Who wants the thing? to do that? I know. <laughs> this is it's the like thing. two of the worst combinations ever. Oh, you're tired. That sucks. And high. And your brain's tired. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. You spent $20 to feel this way. You're basically Fuck. the relatives in bed in the Charlie and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. It's you know? like, uh, yeah, it makes you feel old. You're just gray. You're, like, oh. you're gray under a blanket. Ah. Oh. Some dude yesterday made fun of Joe Biden for sleeping with his uh, feet tucked in to a blanket when he sleeps, but like that's that's how you got to sleep. Oh, he <laughs> feet does tucked feet in. out. Yeah, I mean, I sleep feet out sometimes, but it's not for the whole night. No, no, I'm afraid goblins are going to come by and chop yeah, your. Of course, I asked the crowd that, and like half the people were like, "Goblins are going to come by." <laughs> yep, he speaks the truth. Did you have that fear when you were a kid? No. I did. I, I slept on a bunk bed too, so I felt like if my foot was outside the slat, some kind of you know, <laughs> nightmare guillotine was gonna come by and chop me. Wow. Yeah. You had a bunk. You shared a room with your brother. Yeah. Me too. For like, uh, I don't know, eleven years. Yeah, me too. Something I did like until that. I moved Maybe out. 12, yeah. Until you moved yeah. out. Yeah. You shared a room. It's twenty-two. Whoa. But when my parents got divorced, what? yeah. Bunk bed, L style. Uh, we had a love seat. <laughs> Actually, just two chairs, kind of. Yeah. On top of each <laughs> other. We united we with a blanket. <laughs> we tied together. What was the sleeping arrangement with you and your brother? We gotta have them two, on the pod. Two twin beds in one room. Okay. Right. So yeah, Traditional. it's like a bunk bed de- com- uh, deconstructed bunk. Deconstructed bunk bed. Yeah, it's like a salad. A little gastro bunk. Yeah. You guys chit chat a lot. No, we weren't the best of friends growing up. Okay. But like we did have some. I think as kids we were more, and then as we got older, there was like a little bit of divide where it's like stupid fucking. Because he told on me a couple of times, and I was like, I'll never forget this. What Immensely, what I was like, do? you're a bitch. Uh, just like a couple times when I got in school trouble and like they had to call my parent principal's office whatever my brother was there so they bring him him key witness he's younger than me he's just afraid of what's happening but they're like did he do this they subpoena I'm, your brother yeah i just kind of realized i'm, what I'm was lying happening. they bring me in they're like i heard you know whatever happened and i was like that's crazy because i don't even go to this school <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> who are you people yeah. <laughs> i've been abducted from the other school where i'm such a good boy mom Get me out of here. <laughs> Am I dreaming? You're, you're, you're tied, tied down. Yeah. I know this is a dream. I can do whatever I Domine want. Domine Espiritu Santo. <laughs> um, so what'd you do? So then what were then you lying would, about? I think like the first time, one, you know, I went to the after school program. So it's like you're out at recess till like I five. thought you broke in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to what go with my doing? mom. What <laughs> yeah. So I think you just get in trouble for like, you know bullying younger kids like we would like throw rocks at cars moon cars <laughs> okay you know like sneak out like of the school and, okay like, yeah come back walk around and it's uh, after school we shouldn't even be here yeah i mean uh, this game means we n- gotta fight for our right yeah <laughs> <laughs> to get pizza <laughs> getting pizza off campus was felt so cool i never did that oh uh, we, we live near a pizza uh, place, uh, yeah nice so. it's pretty far what'd you me. guys do ice cream <laughs> <laughs> we did cat we go catch lizards yeah <laughs> <laughs> and go lizard gigging lizard <laughs> Their poison doesn't hurt after like five times. You get immune. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I have scales. <laughs> I, scales do grow in at night, but yeah. better in acne. <laughs> 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 right, Zach? <laughs> your, t- your, your tongue forks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he misses the clit. <sighs> it's actually not great. No, I go around and I hug it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a life jacket. <laughs> Grab it. Yeah. Um, Guys with snake tongues, what do you think you were doing? <laughs> <laughs> you're totally, <laughs> you're just grazing it. Maybe that's yeah. good. Oh, they don't want and it. Then they go in for the bl- no. You get a little tease it, and then you go in for the <laughs> <laughs> you twirl it and go for the full wash cycle. <laughs> like somebody's tap dancing on it. Yeah. <laughs> Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, so there was a couple times where they brought him in, and they would be like, did he do this? Because I'd be lying. He'd be like, yes. I'd just like crack under the pressure of all yeah. these adults being like, the truth. Yeah, right. We demand the truth. They're like eight feet tall. And I'd be, yeah, exactly. <laughs> to him. Just towering Shadows, over him. yeah. Um, yeah. And I'd give him the brother look like, dude, 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 dude. And then be like, yeah. And I'd be like, it just would change. be like, thought I could trust you. Uh, yeah, you know. sure. But then, uh, Younger brother Ratton on you sucks. Yeah. One time I took the turn going into our neighborhood at like 30 miles an hour, which usually we take it at like 20. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't, cr- but it felt kind of fast. 
and immediately when we walked in, my mom's like, how was school? How are you guys? My brother's like, he went 30 around the corner. My mom's like, Zach. I'm like, okay, dude. You're like, Jesus, dude. You still, all, yeah, holy hell. Did you wet the seat? Should I put down a liner next time? Yeah. You little bitch. Didn't know women could grow beards like that, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Also, what's with a little bit of speed? We used to drift in the cars after school. My buddy uh, hit a stop sign. He was literally only saying that because he would do it. That he would later do that himself. He was just saying that to get me in trouble. Because what you guys that's were different were about you fighting. I, I was maybe playing music in the car. He has memories of me playing music in the car that he would be like, "Oh, remember when you f- held me down and you know taped my eyelids open and made me listen to Mastodon?" That's and I'm like, "You fucking loved it." There's no way you don't have core good memories with your bro screaming with the windows down in December. <laughs> with his long Bieber hair flowing. <laughs> with my long Bieber hair drumming on the steering wheel. You love to drum on things. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba. You're a big drummer on things. I got a little autism in the brain. Yeah, Must you got a little, uh, couple of drumsticks in your brain. Yeah. You're always, some people yeah. are always hitting it. And yeah. They're rhythm- I'm, I'm rhythmic. You stand next to you long enough, you'll hit a little solo. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's good. <laughs> it's like that. Allow it. it. <laughs> I'm friend with it too. Thank God it's great. Oh, I kind of like it. <laughs> Maybe you'll do it again. Zach, shh, don't spook him. Will you drum for me? <laughs> You're going to spook him. Babe, I know you want to get a full band at our wedding, but what about this? Only Zach on drums. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Billy Prince. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, babe? Zach, <laughs> Zach only on drums? He has to be talking to someone else, and we'll put a mic near his waist. Because he'll do it on his thighs. <laughs> and we'll have to catch it. You have to see him play triangle. Now I'm trying too hard to be him. Uh, yeah, but he's, he has these memories about uh, you me, me forcing him to listen to like death metal in the car 24-7 on the way to school. And I'm like, I was uncomfortable when other people were uncomfortable with whatever. So, you know, I would try to pick some kind of palatable song. Uh-huh. So, f- of course, I'm offended by that because I'm a girl. Yeah. I'm a little girl gets offended <laughs> I listen um, but I, I was listening to Nick's episode with you on it and I'm like hmm guess I'm a gay girl <laughs> didn't know I mean I knew but Nick's didn't, uh, didn't know my I friends I don't think that that's didn't know my friends opinion. knew no I know Nick is the uh, Nick calls you a girl to your face I y- think he does yeah. and Santiago doesn't let me call him a bitch I was like what's up bitch he's like Charles can well, call me that you can't call me that <laughs> so he I gave you bitch credit dude oh, he's your damn. bitch <laughs> Okay, can I tell you <sighs> something that pissed me off? By the way, Hawaii was a direct energy weapon. Um, <laughs> tell me something that pissed you off. This one's quick. I ran out of, sometimes when I get out of groceries, I'll just, like, uh, I'll, like, buy food for, like, a week. It's not good. Like, only breakfast. And then I'll, like, protein shake it out, you know? If what's, I don't have... What's the problem? If I don't have... Well, I'm spending money every day on, like, <laughs> okay. a bacon, egg, and um, cheese. I see. And it's... You know, it's twenty five dollars that I could have just spent on groceries. Oh sure. But I'll like go to the but my bodega I thought you were saying I buy groceries every week, man. <laughs> no, stop. every day every day I'll get a B B cheese. Yeah. But I go into my bodega guy I'm like addicted to groceries. Yeah. <laughs> I love just the transaction. I wake up in the morning, I go, I, my fridge is empty. You gotta get some olives. Anything will do. Um <laughs> anything will do. As long as I buy it <laughs> and go home with it. So you like buying things? What about stealing? You no, don't really I don't. Steal. I used to steal. Well, I used to. Well, you guys you don't. S- yeah, that's why when you guys talk yet. about stealing, I'm like, you don't understand. You don't understand what it's like. <laughs> you don't kick it. I am scared. <laughs> I'm very I'm scared, scared of you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers at the airport. No, no, no. You I'm guys stealing yeah, a lot. I stole a whole sandwich st- at the airport. You steal. I mean, but you steal like in general, right? Uh, yeah. My therapist was like, "Do you get like a rush?" I'm like, "No, no, no. I'm just, I just don't want uh, to pay for this." <laughs> Uh, but what do you steal? Like chapstick and shit? No, no, no. These lips are dry. I would never waste good stealing energy on chapstick. No, I would. That's a good stealable item. Um, protein bar. At the airport, literally, I was with Nick and Manth, and I just hid it behind the phone, tap to pay. Oh, nice. Through the protein bar. Nice. Sho- shoving it in their faces. In the, know, on, an on item on in the cam? ring doorbell. Yeah. You like that? Bing! Didn't pay for that. Uh, walked out with a protein bar. I ordered a burrito. Should I list my crimes? You ordered a burrito on Li- Uber Eats? No, no, no. I'm in the airport. Let me let me just list my crimes for anyone. You ate it and then got I, on the plane? Did you order a burrito, eat it, and then get on a plane? <laughs> Leave a couple of bucks for the server, your number, your name, your new address? Of course, yeah. Start a new life with me. Yeah, I'll be the guy in the mustache. <laughs> and big glasses. Uh, no, I, I bought a burrito. I ordered a burrito from like this, you know, New York five-borough market. So it was like a big... 
complex of restaurants at the airport? tightly packed at the airport. It's like yeah. uh, LaGuardia or yeah, I've been so, to this. something. Yeah. Yeah. I ordered a burrito, but there's just sandwiches on the shelf. Like a library of sandwiches, you know, bestseller, New York Times. So I, I, I'm like, this looks good. The burrito's seventeen ninety nine. That's why I'm like, yeah. let's make this a little fair. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right? Yeah, one for you, one for me. If I, if you're gonna fuck me, you tell me. I can't you're fuck you. Me I can't turn you around and fuck you right back. You just fucked me. <laughs> I want to fuck too. I gotta come now. You think I wanted to come here? Now I'm horny. Only a give fuck. Because you fucked me. Now I'm horny, okay? <laughs> Grew up in Boston. My f- <laughs> I'm taking a sandwich. I thought we were doing New York. It's changed a little bit. It's just general mafia. It's supposed to be a progressive city, but you're still fucking all the poor people. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> um. And, um. Cut that. <laughs> Cut the thinking, um. Um. Yeah, so I took a sandwich. I put it just right in my bag because I'm carrying a receipt at this point. I have received. You got the golden ticket. Yeah. Receipt of Jones. <laughs> That's what they call me. And, you know, anything could be written on that receipt, mm-hmm. including the sandwich that I'm pilfering. <laughs> so I put it in my bag next to the burrito. I think I, like, locked eyes with a uh, cashier who said, have a good day. I'm like, you have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you now I've what? paid a reasonable yeah. price for two entrees. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What are am I paying for? Import? Um, is there a toll as it goes That's through what security? I think, yeah, you gotta, you're eating a secure sandwich. Oh, okay. There's, There's no bums. The, yeah, you never exactly. know. I had to put this sandwich in the is belt guaranteed too, every bomb morning. free. That's what I don't tell you about the airport. Before they open, they're just scanning all the food. Yeah. They're, hey, at a maximum, there's only three ounces of liquid in that sandwich. Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't squeeze anymore. <laughs> it's not like one of these sandwiches. You're going to bite into it and it floods Libya. That's what happens. With a guy ate a non-secure foreign. sandwich <laughs> filled with gallons upon gallons of water. Do you ever bite pencils or pens when you were a kid? Yeah, I didn't either. You ever someone would be like, hey, can you give me a pen? And they hand you one of those uh, monstrosities? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You freak! Yeah, I didn't yeah. ask for this. Yeah, what is this? Problem child. Yeah. I don't want to look a gift pen in the cap, but this is disgusting. It's still wet. Why'd you give me a wet with your mouth pen? <laughs> and it's damp from being in the pocket for a little bit. Oh, it's warm and wet. Uh, That's human. That was pre when kids knew they should be embarrassed about stuff. Yeah, there was a kid who used to. Uh, yeah, take it. Do you ever have the kid that would reach into pick I his butt? I softened it for you. Pick his butt. Do you ever have the butt picker in class? <laughs> no, dude. Kids are so. I we had a kid who would pick his butt. Maybe it was me. <laughs> I don't remember him. Don't remember. <laughs> yeah, let me think on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a smelling salt. Get some <laughs> I'm ready for the test. <laughs> yeah, we had a kid who would pick his. Butt. I was a high-performing mathlete. <laughs> you know, athlete. I, I needed a little uh, pep. Uh, and he would get poop sometimes. <laughs> he would One time he got poop on the chalk. <laughs> he got poop on the chalk. He picked it with chalk. No, no, no. You think no? He didn't fun dip himself. He went in and he. Uh, well, he got it on his hands. He was picking his butt. He was taking some Sometimes when, off when you the pick cake. your butt as a kid, sometimes it's like uh, it's like something that's happening. Everybody's like, <laughs> and it was like, oh, he's picking his butt. Look, at, it's funny because you're like, oh shit, and he was fat and short. Uh, I mean, a blimp. Yeah. He was more of a round cartoon, like if it, someone in The Incredibles was fat. He was letting out air. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, you're like, ah, I feel bad because nobody likes this kid. He's like awkward. He's fat, and yeah. then he got called, uh, and then to write something on the board, and he left a little bit of poopy on the chalk. So hold on, he's picking through his shorts. Oh, he's picking his ass crack. I know. He's picking his butt. Is it through his shorts? It's like this. Is it down the pant? Uh, okay, he's literally fingering his ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shoveling is what it turned out to be. <laughs> yeah. He was doing a lot of excavation. Yeah. yeah. You should have put down some more in signs. I know. <laughs> so, like, it's going to take me a few Didn't minutes. There's us. a heavy delay. Close the road. <laughs> <laughs> Let this aisle be a you thing. <laughs> I never sat right behind the guy. I'm so going I didn't through something. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I'm discovering myself. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. Somebody already has the bathroom pass, and I'll tell you, so I just got to ma- do it here. It doesn't matter how cool you are. Kid who picks his butt can't really, it's not can't really redeemable. No. You got to be the first kid to land a kickflip, lose his virginity, be class president. Uh, There's so much you have to do to work against that. Get a six pack early. 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 There early. were those kids, but it's because they were skateboarding all day at my school. Yeah, not because they, they were double cool then. <laughs> yeah, they were not because they were picking on your butt. That doesn't, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't burn many they were calories. Rails, grinding yeah, they benches. Were, they were picking lines. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, they were picking lines. 
going to be a sick line. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's horrific. So he noticed there was... No, I don't think anybody ever told me. And How'd this I, end? What? how the saga end? I don't like remember. The, like, I think so people are like, Isaac, there's poop on the truck. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think it was just a whisper. Shit, shit spears. Shit spears. He's going to use that as a And then he ended up in, I ran for student government in like grade school. I thought you I said he like, ended up in Iran. He ended up in Iran. He, he killed Osama bin Laden. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then he killed him and went, <laughs> give him poop eyes. <laughs> Rest of poop. I ran for student government. I thought it was going to be like a cool thing, like fourth grade or whatever. I'm like, whoa, this be like, you know, like free period. We're going to plan shit. And then uh, it was me. One girl and poop kid. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> you can't. You can't <laughs> possibly. You're making a mockery of the process. I was like excited. I show up to the desk and the, you know where the where the student government met. Uh-huh. You know, I'm like the new intern. I'm like, this is gonna be ah oh, fuck. Yeah, it turns out the Olympics you qualified for was special. <laughs> You're like, no, this is. I didn't know. Not what I thought yeah. this was. Man, this did you did you wage a um. A brutal muck raking campaign against him. Oh yeah, a little butt raking. He campaign. got me with the shit smear. He got yeah. me out. <laughs> he was. He was like, put my "I am not ashamed of yeah. my past." <laughs> like, ah, he's self actualizing. <laughs> he's going full avatar. <laughs> he's pooping. <laughs> Just columns of shit yeah. swirling around him. Oh my god. <laughs> he is the one true student body president. Uh, we're back. So he ran for student body president. No, he was in it, but I didn't know he was in it. So what do you I mean he was in it? He was in student <laughs> how government. Deep? How many knuckles? <laughs> oh, man, he'd been serving for years. It actually turned out to be a 20, 21 <laughs> so, so what was his Trump role? Street campaign. <laughs> what was his he role? was 35. He was the treasurer. I don't remember. I he was probably the treasurer. Hiding. That's where he hid the gold. <laughs> He's like, hold on, we need funds. I got I to gotta go withdraw Max, from my hidey you hole. This anywhere else? <laughs> Is other people in the room part of it's it It's the only you? way to keep it safe. Well, why do we have to be here? I need a witness. Okay, you need to know I'm not skimming off the top. We believe you. <laughs> yeah, no, you need. You, need <laughs> you know what? I'm an honest treasurer. Take it from me. Take a little off the top. Some <laughs> of those dollar bills are covered. And I don't want them in our system. <laughs> They're covered in corruption. They're covered in you. Kids are already they kind of got the kind of dirty anyway. We don't need your shitty dollars in the in circulation. <laughs> We're trying to buy money at the book fair. Okay? God. You know, related to this, actually, and disease, speaking about all this shit, did you know eBay? This is a fun fact I found. I got a, little fu- a few fun facts for you. Okay. This is the fun facts for you section. E- eBay used to be, uh, <laughs> it used to be, hold on, I have a, a picture of it so I can. She bay? Sh- no. <laughs> he bay. They bay. Oh, that's they a bay good bay. Uh, Doja Cat. Like a what about e they? eBay? That's like an electronic it's trans. Buy and for, yeah, trans people. Uh, before eBay was the auction website, it's known as today, it was best known as being a source of information about Ebola. Wow. eBay. That's, yeah. It's the bay you went to. And then it w- they were like, we should dip probably. Your cup in the knowledge of Ebola. And they're like, we should probably start selling stuff. We should sell some to stuff. People who we bay. got eyes. So how do we market these eyes? They're concerned about Ebola. What else are they we concerned about? We got them now? Yeah. yeah. Now who do, how do we become who we are? Affordable deck furniture. I want Hannah Montana to become Miley Cyrus. People? Use dirt bikes. <laughs> that's what these people might be interested in. Have you heard of the term OBO? Oh, that's Craigslist. Never mind. <laughs> What's OBO? Or best offer. Or best offer. Someone's that's good. like, two hand jobs OBO. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> what? No. What are you selling? <laughs> it's a Craigslist. <laughs> that's the only thing sold. <laughs> I had a hand. You ever have a hand? You like hand jobs? Uh, yeah, sometimes if they're sloppy, a little sloppy toppy. You can't give me a dry heage. Uh, I, I can't. It's like I, going I in a car wash, no re- bubbles. I don't think I've ever received a dry heage. <laughs> well, it's like going in a car wash, no water. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting hit with bristles. Yeah, why are your fingers so bristly? Yeah, you a lot of pull-ups. That's when I knew I shouldn't have fucked that mermaid. <laughs> All right, folks. We'll see you next week. We're going to the Patreon. Charles, you got a fart? Get it on mic. <laughs> You press the. Um. Okay. Anyway, I got any, you oh, any tall tales? Maybe. Oh, I maybe tell a tall tale and then I got a piss. This is just something that's really. See how do you like it? I mean, I got to piss. Um. This is something. Ah, uh, you can piss now. Maybe I'll piss too. Can I, wait, I actually. I, ran, I ranted t- about this when you were gone about you, so I want to say it to your face. You know, so we remain friends, so that you can have a proper way to defend yourself. <laughs> I love when you have to go pee and you're like, hey, man, it's about health. 
You want me to die? You're it asking is. me to shorten my lifespan, it's or chit chat with you and chit chat with you? Because we can you know? keep chit chatting, but holding in the pee is one of the worst things you can do. You say that a lot. So what? It, it holds. Because I in have to remind people because they don't remember. They always are like, "You got to pee again," and I'm like, "Holding it is very bad for, for like it. hours. It's bad, not for like 20 minutes." Look it up. Tell me. I don't know that, but I don't think you're correct. You tell me. Okay. So you're you're just waving around this notion. And you have no ba- no data. No, you're a beta. I don't know. Well, you did 20 no minutes. Statistics. Okay, hold on. What do you think it is? I think it's bad and to do that. What health consequences are there to holding in your pee for so long? I don't remember, but it's bad. Okay. Look it up. Fair enough. Health. E. Effects. Effects. Yeah. eBay. eBay. Of holding in pee. The first search was grudges. Is that where you hold your grudges? In my bladder. Charles is very, f- he's very. Forgiving. I hate that guy. Yeah. I got a real right. piss on my shoulder. He's alright. <laughs> Stop holding it in. Four bodily functions you should just let out on transgender.org. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> oh my my. All the other domain names were taken. <laughs> <laughs> this is your website. All right. Medical news today. Let's do that. It says, "Hey Zach, <laughs> took you a while to get here. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a UTI?" Yeah. Really? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, I shouldn't tell you my theory about how guys can't get UTIs then. <laughs> how it's harder for guys to get UTIs. Yeah, for sure. Because they have a longer urethra because it's in the dick, but maybe <laughs> not for you. Yeah, no, no, no. I, what maybe is the shaft you speak of? It's just a well. It's, mine's kind of a button. <laughs> so we were talking pre-pod about a shaft. <laughs> Can you define when where you that s- would be? <laughs> is that an urban dictionary term that the kids are saying? She's so saying there's uh, between the bottom and the top. <laughs> But there's nothing there, so where would it go? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the possibility <laughs> of of a middle shaft America? <laughs> sorry, sorry about that one. <laughs> All right. In a healthy adult, occasionally holding in pee will not cause problems, but there may be some unwanted effects if it becomes a habit. And that's what I do. You do? Yes. All right. Well, you should do it on your own time. When the bladder fills about halfway with liquid, it signals the brain it's time to pee. Sometimes it's necessary to hold in urine. <laughs> it may be difficult to access a restroom or a person, I don't know, maybe trying to do a podcast with his friend. I let you go for... That's what it whenever says. Whenever I say Medical I have news to today. Pee, it's been 30 minutes. There are no hard rules for how and when it is safe to hold in pee. Some people may be more prone to side effects. Possible side effects. Pain. Without love, pain. Can't, can't get, get enough pain. Because I like it rough. Number two urinary tract infection. <laughs> this may lead to uh, don't drink enough liquids. Do you drink a lot of liquid? Because when I first tell people about your bladder, and I'm spreading the gospel, yeah, far what and the wide, hell? The whole scene knows how I piss. I don't have anything I'm to not talk for about. It. Yeah, do something else. You, you're dating a Jew. You got a lot to talk about. No, no. I should also, let me. Jesus Christ, it's not surprised you're not further ahead. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me them. too. They had a they had a part. We'll talk about the service. I yeah, the three hour service. They had a section where they prayed for people affected by the actors' strike. Also, anybody else? I'm just gonna leave that there. Stuck in the rain. I yeah. know it was in a weird part of unexpected part of town. They did say we our tried bad. our best, <laughs> but we couldn't hold it off. In the long term, number three, back to bladder, back to blue, back to bladder. <laughs> Cause the bladder that? to stretch. If a person has a stretched bladder, extra measures such as a catheter may be next necessary. necessary. Damage Charles to the pelvic floor. Okay. Some people accuse you of drinking uh, too much water. What do you think about Wh- that? Who are those people? And I don't want to give me their numbers. I'll call them individually <laughs> and as a group. I'll deliver a bucket of Peter. They'll get a, call, a FaceTime a and a Teams invite. I'll talk to them all. Pee time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I really have to pee. And I accept that. It's as easy as that, folks. It's as easy as I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you feel about this? Here's my little pet peeve that I have of the week. The peeve of the week. Give me the peeve of the week. I've been going to get a bacon, egg, and cheese every morning. Here's one pet peeve that I already told this guy. I walk into my bodega. It's not that great of a bodega. 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 I walk in my bodega and the guy says, hey, hey, you know. Um, How's it going? It's not the greatest bodega. Yeah. It's the one where you got it. You'd never order food from this bodega. Okay. Because, you yeah, know, I know what you, you mean. You've been to the one. Right. It looks more like like an arcade store with the glass display. Yeah. It doesn't look like a place you want to order a And if you a do get a patty. sandwich, you're going to be like, this sucks. It's somehow flavorless, but there's a lot of things in this, but right. it all tastes How like this shit bread. Yeah. yeah. What is this? No good. This cutlet was the worst thing. Ordering a cutlet 
is sometimes the worst thing you can do at a bodega because it's been sitting there for like a month. One time I got an old cutlet <laughs> and I he wrapped it up. So by the time that I left and I unwrapped it to eat it, it was brown lettuce. I was like, I don't know what I did to mm. disrespect this guy's family. I don't know who he thought I was. But now I'm going to fuck you. But he sent a message and it's been received. It's time for me to now fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I will not steal from a so bodega. So I Molotov cocktail his car. I want to make that very clear. I won't, Yeah, I'll Molotov cocktail his car. I would never steal from a bodega. That's a man's business. Can't steal from a bodega, no, especially because no, mine. No. The good thing about my bodega is it. it's all up. The do you old, hear that? You're putting a little stank on bodega? Do I? You do. It's. I like it. Kind of New Yorker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Real light tap. How, oh, wait, how do, you, how do you say it? Bodega. You're saying like bodega. Oh, am I? How yeah. are you saying it? Bodega. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you're saying in my bodega. Oh, wow. You're putting some oomph wow. in the D-E. My <laughs> bodega. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little bodego, aren't you? What? Bodego. Like a wop. You're like a guinea greasy. Oh, is that a slur for me? Uh, dago, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wow, I guess you need to brush up on your people so you can be bef- uh, offended on their behalf. <laughs> offended on their behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, to be honest, last week when you said bodego, I got a little buffended. <laughs> Why don't I you like take that back and p- pajologize? <laughs> I like a very drunk Italian guy trying to threaten someone. Getting fucking offended over here. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're at your bodega. So I, go, I go to my bodega. You get your bacon, egg, and the cheese. Sandwich, your cutlet, well, this is, a prehistoric cut This is why I like the bodegas. The old guys who run the cashier, there's two of them. Yeah. One of them's always watching something very loud in Saudi Arabian. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's a soccer Can't, game. Yeah. It's a prayer. Yeah. It's a, uh, <laughs> Saudi's next top idol. Very loud. The doesn't top? look me in the eye, right. but he eyes things. That the price is whatever they are, so I can get like a a, a Celsius. He'd be like a dollar, and I'm like oh. he's a three fifty on the market, Whoa. idiot. And uh, so there are there are pros to this bodega, even though it doesn't have the best food selection, yeah. not the best drink selection. It's kind of a duty free outside of international <laughs> waters. Yeah, like they it's don't a weird area. It's kind of the opposite of the airport. Yeah, you get some weird flavors of things that don't exist in the country. Yeah. You're like, oh, squirrel flavored pistachios. I don't know how that's going to be. They're like refilled ketchup bottles. Yeah. <laughs> like you, <laughs> the seal's been broken and there's, it's kind of like the monument, the Washington. Yeah. It's like the, the colors change midway yeah. through. Cat? Is there a cat? No. Hmm. It's fine, though. You don't have to have a cat. You don't have to have a cat. sometimes you don't want that. I like to pet a kitty, but I also don't want to smell a cat. Don't want to smell a cat. In a bodega. I'm thinking about food here. I'm trying to get turned on. (laughs) (laughs) Now you got me thinking about Little Box. (laughs) Get me going. Trying to make a few kittens, if you know what I'm saying. Get me all hungry and horny at the same time. (laughs) I'm liable to kill a man. Blame you two for it. You'll go to jail, not me. I was at a bodega with with a guy. They're like, oh. so they're speaking <laughs> Arabic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, then trying. whatever. Yes, that's what I'm just quoting him. You know, I'm not doing a thing. <laughs> I'm just literally. That's do not know. That's a word. That's a few words. That's a whole sentence. <laughs> so he's talking, but then he'll you know he'll come to me and he'll be it's like, actually a question. <laughs> he'll be he'll be. It's like perfect English, like four dollars. I'm like, whoa, that's yeah. crazy. That's cool. So I think it's like the second generation, like the kid, mm-hmm. like the mid twenties kid. So I heard a woman talking, like we were just talking right now from Long Island. He was, she was like, you know, my son speaks Arabic, <laughs> and the guy was like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> like what are you supposed to say? So cool. You know, my son makes those same weird sounds. It's, he can do it. He can do it too. And I, you know, I didn't he, like it at first, but he's my son. He's my son. I love it. I, I love kicked him. him out for a year. Came back, uh-huh. and uh, you know, assalamu alaikum to him. Assalamu love him. You know what I mean? Yeah, assalamu. You guys ever say that? Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> live laugh love. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So it was so funny just to hear him. Like, oh yeah, very yeah. cool. Did he say it in an, an endearing way? They could, they could be that that voice can be that oh, accent can yeah. be very it endearing. It sounded sarcastic oh, so to me. Nah, no, that's like, great. Wow, <laughs> like so patronizing. Oh, cool. <laughs> you know, my uh, my cousin married to um, dumb bitch. <laughs> so, just like you. So we both have uh, we, uh, we both same small world. <laughs> yeah, but the day it was your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. Uh, thanks. The day was nine eleven. The day of Charles' birth. <laughs> no coincidence. He arrived on one of those planes <laughs> like Superman. <laughs> he was drafted in a cornfield in Queens. <laughs> in the middle of a bodega. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of a bodega. First few years of my life, I thought it was a cat. <laughs> I grew up next to the Aquafinas. I just slept in a fridge in My night. bedroom was just the top shelf where people couldn't reach the water. 
It's all where the employees kept their lunch. You ever right. see that part of the fridge? <laughs> when the employees <laughs> lunch? People tried to buy my bed. Yeah. It was a big, uh, big ordeal. But it was 9 11. Oh, yeah. And I so it. maybe he was psyched about it, but he, you know, he knew what day it was. And he was like, oh, that was no trying to be like, stay, bu- stay bummed today. Stay bummed. <laughs> 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 That's a big uh, awareness campaign <laughs> in, the <laughs> in the Arabic speaking community. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, remember in the newsletter, hey, s- you know, s- stay bummed. <laughs> okay, hashtag stay bummed today. There are a lot of other days to be happy. Yeah. But today hey, we have 364 <laughs> to be happy. This is not one of those days, my friends. <laughs> hashtag stay bummed. <laughs> if you're anywhere in financial district, hashtag cry hard. <laughs> Weep. Show tears. Show tears. Constantly. Yeah. Watch your back. A lot of people think that uh, we're hiding things. We're not. We're only hiding our tears. Yeah. They should be shown. And sorrow. Show your sorrow. Show your sorrow. <laughs> Today. Hashtag show your sorrow. He's Hashtag using way too many hashtags. <laughs> Hashtag stay up. Hashtag show your sorrow. Say never forget when people walk in and leave. <laughs> Hashtag I'm sorry. <laughs> Hashtag was not part of my region even. But still, you know, I'm for what happened in general. Yeah, I'm very sorry. To hear. I'm sorry to hear about it. You know I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> Clip it. Clip it. Rip it. Dip it. Stick it. Stick <laughs> it. Push it. Pip it. Lick <laughs> it. Tit it. Poop on the chalk. And write your dreams away. Um, so I was in this boat. I went into this bodega. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. It was yeah. Right oh, no worries. We're back. I'm Woo! keeping us on track, Zach. I'm keeping Zach on track. Okay. Um, we're back on track with Zach. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Charles is throwing it back. <laughs> throwing it back. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have any. Throwing it back on track with Zach. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach. I'm Charles. I'm the guy who introed and is the segment. Um, <laughs> so this week, I'm out of groceries. I'm too lazy. I'm You're like, I'm not going to go dude. get groceries. Yeah, I'm addicted to buying groceries. So I'm like, I'm going to do a bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast. I'll get groceries on Friday when I get paid. Get the energy to buy groceries. How are you going to buy groceries you have no energy? That's, exactly. That's the loop I get stuck in. I'm like, I'm too hungry to go buy groceries. Yeah, you gotta I go, can't move. Got to eat out. Got to yeah, treat gotta eat myself. Out. Right. Um, but there's only so many nutrients you can glean from your girlfriend's pussy. You got to get a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get a bacon, Burns egg, and cheese. Burns calories, too. Right. Right. all that throwing up. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, can you believe it down there? Guy who has no idea he's closeted <laughs> gay. <laughs> you guys Whew. like eating pussy? You like throwing up that many times, huh? I will say, I don't have to go for runs nearly as much. Now that Keeps I'm throwing me skinny. up constantly. Yeah. So I've been going in there, and there's like a son... Who's maybe like older, like my age or whatever? He's always yeah. in like too, too tight. Like they remember, uh, did you ever see Fifty First Dates? The brother was in like too tight of tank tops all the time. That was like his character. Too tight tank top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. I mean, I've, the yeah. joke is like he's I always know a guy. and then eventually he's in like a mesh tank top, <laughs> and, like towards the end of the movie. German club. Yeah. So this guy's the same thing. He's always wearing short shorts, like soccer shorts. Too tight. He's like chubby, but like he thinks he's big. <laughs> And he he uh, he's, he's really the, trying to show the arms. His only job is to sit on a crate and watch YouTube in Arabic, and then occasionally I'll be the only guy at the bodega that orders a sandwich, and he'll ma- he'll make it he'll okay. make it bad. Okay. And uh, he made it bad like three days in a row. Yeah. Like sometimes there's not even there wasn't even bacon on one of the hemispheres <laughs> on Thursday, and I was like, come on, dude. I need some coverage. You put one strip on one hemisphere? Crust to crust is a must. He always gets an attitude when I go in because he's sitting down watching, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what he's watching. Football. He can't understand it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and, uh, but I walk in, I'm like, hey, I'll do bacon. I, I, I talk to him on the crate. I'm like, he's like, man. And he goes, Ugh. oh. He flew his arms up at me. Wow. I'm like, buddy, what kind of nepotism is this? Make me a sandwich. It's your one job. I call it the bacon, egg, and cheese is what this guy <laughs> sounds like I order. And then, uh, <laughs> but I have to do it because I have to give, if I didn't have a timer, because right. I have to just run back to work, eat this thing. So you put on an apron, get a spatula, do it yourself. Yeah, I get behind that. Run yeah, back I there. Go, I go, uh, this is like, uh, he goes, yeah. Kitchen nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Arabic kitchen nights. But I finally, I was like, what's this guy's problem? But I don't have enough time to be like, hey, man, what the hell? Like, you're making it bad. Okay. And I have to say bagel every time because he always puts it on a roll. I ah, come in every day. That's tough. This is how much he doesn't pay attention when I come in. And I go, uh, bagel? He goes, bagel. And then I'll come back, and sometimes I'm like, it's on a, it's on a shitty roll. But anyway, how do you f- like? This is what has been happening to me. I feel like it always happens. On to you. Friday, the dad was there. Am I right? As a guy I've never seen before, and I go bacon, egg, and cheese. This guy gets all pissy, and he goes, "I'll do it." 
best thing, best bacon egg and cheese I've ever had in my life. He came I off the be throne. Like, put a little pride in it. Yeah. Step aside, Prince. Yeah, let the let the man who earned this place. Let the sandwich can come through. Amazing. Well, that's great. I don't know. Just uh, I'm just saying. How do you feel about somebody who like you're not caring, you're not trying? How do I feel about that? Yeah, I'm getting to the age where I'm like, I want to be like, hey man, give a damn, give a damn, pay it forward, make me a good sandwich. I have a good day. I don't know, but yeah, I don't report l- you to the ice. <laughs> Calls him the ice. The cubes. I- you want me to get the cubes in here? <laughs> Huh? I'll break out the whole train. Feeling a little cold. I'll swat you. Know your what ass. I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> I never forget their numbers. It. Tattooed Somebody on my leave arm. leave a freezer open? Do I hear ice? What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like ice. Extra bacon, please. Everything bagel toasted. I don't know, if man. You know I feel like I, mean. I, whenever I get bad service, I'm like never expecting great service. I usually feel like I get decent service or like I don't. Well, you're saying the face to face, he's already throwing attitude at you. Yeah, like, what did I do to this guy? Maybe it's like just it's my have a resting kind of like, uh, I'm going to be a problem face. Maybe. I mean, I, yeah, I'll be. Ba- do you wear the hat backwards in these situations? You got you got the douche cloak on? Nope. Nope. Uh, it's like. Okay. Uh, it's like. What are you what? wearing? I wear like a t shirt. Is it your fault? Yeah, what am, am I asking I'm for? I'm investigating it? Huh? whether you're asking for He's it. He's negging me, so maybe it's my skirt. Right. Look, this is all. Are you I bending wear. over to pick up chocolate bars? T shirt from Target. Yeah, hot. <laughs> going <laughs> uh, uh-huh red g-string that my girlfriend lets me wear every day it helps me stay productive when something's up my ass fish nets <laughs> high heels okay i don't see i don't see the problem yeah and this guy's staring at you this guy's being a dick to me hey you want sandwich it will go straight to ass <laughs> and then i won't be able to help myself <laughs> if that ass grows any more Oh, uh, I guess I'll just take a spin drift. <laughs> I will spin you around. You get my drift? <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, Dude, the kids I babysit always want prime. They always want caffeine beverages. Logan Paul drinks I it. I had some prime. He's a superhero now. Yeah, but Logan he's Paul. He's a YouTuber, and now he's kind of a ripped hot guy. That's like the ideal life track of these yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, They want to start with unboxing toy videos, playing Minecraft online. And then become really hot and marry a supermodel. And then learn to fight professionally. <laughs> That's what they want, some of these, some of these knuckleheads. Huh? Keeping it light. You want to tell jokes to nobody forever. I had to That's tell him. I had to tell uh, one of these kiddos. I, he keeps going, your mom. Your mom's this. Your mom's that. I'm like, hey, where's the... Uh, where are the scissors? He's like, with your mom. <laughs> now, I'm obviously hilarious, so you laughed. <laughs> but he's saying it a lot. So much that I had to, I started giving it back to him. I started being stern. I didn't say your mom, because then he could report it. And then she's like, what do you, th- what'd you say? What'd you say about me? Um, sorry. <laughs> Enough of this disparaging of this holy woman, which I uh, hope to deflower. There, I said it. <laughs> I hope to deflower you. <laughs> Cut it. Keep, Keep it. it. Oh, we don't have enough fame or money to cancel us. What are they going to do? Continue to not watch? I'm fine with that. <laughs> so I had to fucking, I'm like, hey, dude, that's not funny. He's like, do you think that's funny? Your mom? He's like, no. <laughs> like, Why are you saying it? And he's like, because it's shocking or something. And I was like, uh, that's if I was I'm like that's stupid. No one's gonna like you if you just only say your mom. I'm like you're not gonna have friends. Like if I was eight years old and you kept saying this to me, I'd be like this guy's an idiot. Ooh, how do you take that? He was like, oh, your mom's an idiot. <laughs> you know, he just <laughs> went right through him, <laughs> right past his little head. Yeah, but I'm like you know you don't have to be like on eleven trying to roast me with the same phrases over. Like you know you can just be, mm-hmm. you can just hang out. You don't have to like try to get me. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah, I like a strategy. Getting um, people's fun. And then I, they, I, they took like they wouldn't do what I said for the first six times. Like I kept, hey, hey man, clean the table. Stop watching TV. Stop. I grabbed them and be like, well, stop! You never let me do anything. Or ah, some, get out of here! Stupid thing. These kids are not worthy of your time. No. And you need to pay those reasons. More I'm money. Mol- Obi- OBO. Molly keeps <laughs> or bunch of homie. <laughs> Molly keeps asking me to ask for a raise. I might. With increasing subway fares and my girlfriend's lavish lifestyle, <laughs> I have come to a fork in the road, so to speak. And I can either watch one of your kids for the same amount of money 
but I can't be responsible for the other. If it's both, I've gained experience, skill, and know-how in the industry. So I told the I told the kids, I'm like, hey, you know, I choose to come back. I was like, I could just not come back. You guys know that, you know. I'm not like just here, you know, because they, they they joke about like I'm eating dinner with them. He's like, hey, pretty nice getting a free dinner, and I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Be cool, dude. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, or he's like, you're getting paid to eat dinner. And I was like, I don't charge your mom for the record when I'm yeah, eating nah. dinner with you guys. Her, the mom was like, a tasty dinner. That's a, she was the mom like was there? Diffuse it. Yeah. She's like, do you want to stay for oh, dinner? Oh, you eat with them? I eat with them. Whoa. Sometimes. Free meal. Wow. I'm hungry. I g- and then I go out. You're getting too close, kid. I know. This is the part of the when the police goes into the gang undercover, and then you show up at the precinct with a face tattoo. And I'm uh-huh. like, Zach! <laughs> Are you forgetting the mission? You're in too deep. <laughs> You're trying to keep. I let that penis piercing go, but a face tat is hard to tolerate. You have a wife. You have a wife. And you nanny two kids still with this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> bravo. <laughs> I had nothing to say, but bra. Cut it. Bo. Keep it. Cut it. <laughs> We should do more sound effects. Yeah, I appreciate. Yeah, we should, get, we should get Santiago in the corner with the soundboard. Yeah, we should. God. It'll just be sentences he says, but on loop. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys want to eat after this? Um. All right. What else do we got? So we were talking about the kids. That was it. You talked about Arabic bodega. Oh, let me tell you this. I okay. have to pee soon, so uh, I gotta pee again. I tried a standing desk this week. Okay. It, uh, it does change your life. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I, uh, it changes everything. Very yeah. productive. And it, it happened to me a couple of times where I've been, uh, I was really on top of everything at work. And my boss called me to do a little helicopter bus. And I was like, are you calling about this? And he was like, I didn't even know that was going on. And I was oh. like, well, maybe because you're so high up in your helicopter, you don't see what the people on the ground are doing. Uh-huh. And I got news for you. Um, losing a lot of good men down here. <laughs> A lot of bloodshed. A lot of brain cells and semen are leaving my body. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I'm coming. I didn't know this was my king. I'm getting drained from all ends. I'm what? angry after work. I can't do a podcast anymore. I'm just mad. <laughs> I can tell you this about the uh, when I was on this flight. This, this was crazy. I've never heard this before on a flight. Proposed. Okay, so. Ah. Uh, no. Somebody proposed No, 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 no. Sorry. Oh, uh, well. Now the story is going to be not as cool. You're right. No, it's uh, I've never seen such a proposition between two strangers before. That's the lead into the story. So we're getting on the plane, and there's this husband and wife in the uh, aisle in middle. And so this other woman, stranger to them, needs to get into the window seat. So she's like, oh, I'm right there. And the guy in the aisle is like, you just want to climb over us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's done oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Someone's done that to you? I was I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen this. I think I woke up to somebody doing it. Somebody going by. Really? Somebody Cause doing I was, that? They're you, tarantula uh, in you. <laughs> oh you meet man. them face to face. <laughs> Their stingers out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! You're hard. No. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but when I'm at the airport, my crotch isn't ready to be face to face to crotch with somebody. You know what I mean? Oh, I might, no. I might yeah. be stinky. Yeah, yeah. You Airport know, I'm is showered. I got bedhead. I don't want to be waving my guilty <laughs> crotch <laughs> across someone's eye level. They know. They know I didn't shower. They know I jerked off beforehand they knew I didn't and didn't shower mop before up. I knew I didn't shower. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, and the girl was like, uh, no, could you get up? <laughs> Nice. Good yeah. for her. Yeah, you yeah. can't. Well, that guy's being a weirdo. I don't know. I guarantee you this. He's perfected how to sniff without making any noise. Because <laughs> he was. <laughs> he's hollowed out face. his nose. Yeah. <laughs> he has no hair, no boogers. <laughs> he makes he's it obvious through his mouth. <laughs> What'd you just do? Nothing. I had a lot I of drool. I have waking sleep apnea. You see that Joe Biden video? <laughs> I don't know if it's. I, I honestly. This could be me reporting on fake news. Sorry, yeah, folks. Yeah. But there is a video. It seems real. Sorry if it's wrong. I didn't go to Snopes. Um, Snopes <laughs> University. <laughs> Four years in truth checking and fact checking. But there's uh, it's the a final video. exams. They just throw, throw things at you like Fruit Ninja. <laughs> fake, fake, disproven, 1968. Um, there's a video of Biden and some girls like at the, a meet, like meeting him in a big 
I don't know, it looks like a big event, like a dinner or whatever. And she has like the phone right here, but it's recording. Mm-hmm. And he goes and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, no, it's a video. And he's like, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, I've not seen that video. That's very funny. I feel like it should get if it was real, maybe it'd get like extreme attention, right? So maybe it was fake. I don't know. Well, she could have been filming it and he didn't, and then in post she added right, something like little <laughs> movie magic, right? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's because I feel like if, if that was caught, that'd I'd be I'd like I to mean, analyze Cuomo. the wave file. I'll yeah. download it and analyze the wave file. Yeah, yeah. Let me get into my uh, detective's chair. Yeah. Start analyzing that way. We're back on track with Zach. Let's analyze this. Back on track with Zach. Throwing it back with Zach and Zach. (laughs) (laughs) Zach The Zachening is upon us. Um, All right, baby. I'm back in Zach. Do you want me to read your random history facts? Uh, Or do you got no? I had another thing about that third thing. Oh, the plane or the plane thing? Yeah, I was like, I was wondering if that's this is just a joke premise, but I was wondering if that's uh, like that's how they find a third. They're like, all right, we'll book the aisle in the middle, see who's down, start putting out feelers. You want to scooch on by? You know, we'll sniff. Climb over? We'll, we'll start sniffing, see what we like. And if they're like, mm, yeah, okay. Oh, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> and then halfway through the right, so I noticed you're going to Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Business or pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> or would you be open to both? <laughs> My name's John Jonigan. This is my wife, <laughs> Janisha. Roy- Royland Jenkins. Royland Jenkins, Janisha. <laughs> Do you always wear sweats on a plane, or are you just happy to sniff me? <laughs> hey, get that puss so ripe. You, leave a bana- you sleep next to bananas? What's going on? How are you ripen that puss up? Is that fruit fly hey, thing? Let me tell you, my Nike will kicked right in as soon as you wafted past me. I never met a girl with such a sweet-smelling... Sk- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what else did I have? It's a service. Yeah, how was Jewtown? <laughs> <laughs> Shana Tova. How was acting Jew this weekend? You had a so you had jury duty. I was deep I in. Jewy duty. I was deep in. I was I was in, brother. I, I I almost didn't make it out. I almost bought land in Crown Heights. They were about to give it to me. A minivan started they driving around. They were about around, to just give it to me. You see, my nose is big enough. I do think that does help. When I walk into a, a temple, they're like, welcome. Well, so put your arms up at me, but you, you think can round helps. up. You can round up. Yeah, with I me. can round you up. You know, you can round up. I mean, you're already there. Well, okay. round up. <laughs> you're a point nine eight. Okay. Look, no, but I'm it was nice. I'm 3D with this kid. It was nice. I mean, it, we went to two services. One was on s- Friday for like an hour and a half. Uh-huh. And then one was on, we showed up kind of late. And then one was on you Saturday. You guys get hammered or high or anything? No. <laughs> okay. No. Not. I think I had a glass of wine or something before right. the service. But yeah, man, the the music is great. I like the music a lot. It was three hours uh, on Saturday um, morning. That's a lot. Is uh, li- your lady into it? Or well, she she's like, like she's uh-huh. into it. <laughs> Near the end, uh, it was nice to recap with her because I didn't know how she was feeling during. But in the end, she was like, "Dude, there were parts of that where they're just like looking at the Torah, kind of mumble singing, and I'm just like, get what are we doing?" <laughs> and when we were late on the way, so she fluctuates because she her mom's a rabbi, big thing for her. So it was nice to see what's you know what's what's happening. What they're up to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Enemies closer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it sounds like they're gaining land. <laughs> it was nice. They're getting some of my friends. I no, like and actually, in the in the three hour service, it was at this temple on uh, on Eastern Parkway, mm-hmm. and it used to be a theater or something. So like the the chairs are oh nice, Good. but it's like a rundown theater. Yeah, but it has the cushy yeah. seats at least, and uh, there's like big columns of just like rotting like wood or something. It looks like a war recovered. You know, it looks like Whoa, we're in like they're still in the yeah. Yeah, it's we crazy. Have to be very quiet. It's kind of cool though, because like it's some of it's nice and some of it's not nice, so it's a, it's a nice juxtapose. But music was good. I mean, you went to church as a kid, right? You've heard Christians singing. It's not very rousing. I think in the order of like fun music, this is what I determined. It's it's white church, pretty far down here below the table. Reform Jewish service. Black church, yeah, all the way up here. It's well, it it's in the like they're like, it da, seems like da, 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 da. you, yeah, you but get then a little those TikToks clappy. where they like remix and they have their own no, music and they're yeah. like, oh, 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 you're like, whoa, is that the soccer? You're like they're getting oh, into are it. they doing soccer stuff? Well, like there's is this at parties. This is like it's, I've only seen it on TikToks where it's like they get really <laughs> yeah, it's like a party. It's not at a party. It's TikTok. Uh, it's TikTok. <laughs> let's <laughs> get, let's be honest. Where it was was TikTok. I tried to do this joke on stage after going to the services. It didn't really work because uh, I realized not a lot of people know much about Judaism. Mm-hmm. So do you know what year it is, according to 
the Hebrew calendar, 5,784 okay. is what the current year is, which is, I like that they do it separate. I don't know what it's based on, but it's like three times, you know, <laughs> it's been three times more time than we have experienced since Christ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Christ. the guy. Christ. Christ. How did they come up with that, by the way? Like when, Christ. Did, when he died, were they like, it's been a year? And he's like, let's count like that. Yeah. I'd like to. You guys want to get it going again? Count. It was already going. Well, yeah. let's get it going we kinda again. Stopped it for him. Yeah. And what we were basing it off of. So, so my, what I was trying to do is like I think that's the most Jewish thing that I've ever heard is we're like yeah it's 2023 and they're like it feels way longer than that it's been at least 5,784. <laughs> My legs are killing. My legs are killing me. I'm tired. I need an app. Hungry. I'm, I'm hungry and I have a stomach ache. It's right. like been 5,000 yeah. years. I need to take a break. Come on. Yeah, that joke didn't really work. I mean, it worked with like one person who was one Jewish. Jew. One Jew. Yeah. It's good to get a Jew, though, and a laugh. Yeah, it was kind of nice. I got to kind of be just Jewish for the day. I went to three hours of service. Yeah, you, you, know, you were enough. Uh, 21 and I was Street. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I do think this was nice. Okay, so... When I feel like when I'm in New York, I'm living this life where it's just kind of a grind and you try to get out of that mindset, but it ultimately sucks you in. You're like, this does kind of stink. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, some aspects yeah, of, of course, trying to of you know, edit and what, you know, do all these things you got to do. Make no money. Yeah, because you're not... Yeah, you're no, not, no real promise of success. Yeah, you're it's seeing other just, people like kind of just go and camp, like uh, go on vacations and stuff. You know, like... Or people like uh, having success with their careers. We're like, I'm not doing either. So yeah, that's no what vacation, I think too. no success. Yeah, Which you're one? like the being right there. Yeah, it's a third that's path. where it gets you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm picking my own ass here, and no poop to be found. Shitting on the job. <laughs> Can't even find any poop in my ass. I'm I'm empty everywhere. I'm looking knee deep for bits. I'm all zeros on the board. Can't find any bits. So it's nice to get out and like I went to Oregon and uh, Washington with Nick, and I was thinking about how it's just so much easier to not like feel the urge to smoke or just like you're just being you you know you're just in a different spot. You're enjoying life more. You're trying, you're doing something new, um, and so there is value. I think when I'm in this three-hour service, I'm I'm getting bored. Like they're speaking a different language. It goes backwards. The book I'm opening from the other end. I'm a little disoriented. So sometimes I'm just like, I'm uncomfortable, but that's okay. You know, it's like practicing that. Yeah. It was like an invitation to be like, no, discomfort's fine. Mm -hmm. You're just it's just cool to be here, listen to yeah. the music, look at the building. Yeah. So that was nice. That's I, cool. I used it to meditate. And so it was kind of funny that they're like, what do you think of the service? And I'm like, well, it taught me how to cope with <laughs> the pain of life <laughs> delivered to me by this service. No, us too. Um, Molly? Um, um, I got to pee. Cool. You Buddy, more? I don't know. I just want to talk about it. No, oh, I'm saying like, yeah. Do you want to? I can. Try I don't have any more right now. I'm bursting at the tip. I'll tell Go. You okay. I don't want you bursting at the tip anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I would just like if there was like silent prayer portions, I would just meditate during. So it was a nice mindfulness thing of just like, yeah, you're in the moment. You you have to tolerate discomfort. You just be as a person. It's, it's kind of funny that that's like a benefit of church, but it shits on church. It's like no, it's so yeah. bad that you have to be okay with being <laughs> in a bad thing. That's how boring and bad it is. Yeah, it shows anybody like there are other ways. Yeah, if it it's doesn't kill you, <laughs> it'll make you stronger. It's funny to Go think to that church. Yeah, church does not. Pro I mean, they uh, progress with like bands and stuff like that. But I think about when I went as a kid and you're still you, you're very bored as a child. So yeah. then as an adult, and you're like, oh, it still hasn't really improved. Huh? It's been all those years and it's. I thought I just didn't get it because I was a kid. Yeah, but I'm trying and it is boring. Yeah. This is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take an ad break, please. My my parents would sneak off to brunch. They'd like drop us off at the service and then they'd come back wiping eggs off their mustaches. I was, it was like, crazy. Where were you? Easter egg bunny came back real pissed, <laughs> throwing eggs. It was a war, it was a holy war. It's crazy. You we lost your grandmother. We smote him. We, sm we smote him back to hell. The eggs, you don't want any of these. Too much pepper. Yeah, you want any rabbit? <laughs> we cooked it's them pink. up. Pink. It's good. He's a peep. <laughs> I hate peeps. Do you like peeps? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Every God. year. Well, I only have them like once a year. So I hate, when I have them I hate year, that like much marshmallow. But you like the Lucky Charms, love marshmallow. just clouds. Marshmallows are great. Cloud only Lucky Charms. I love throwing big marshmallows into friends' mouths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were doing a lot of mouth throwing in my... Uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. People forget. It's like it a game of It was very cat. fun. It is yeah. fun. Because you gotta be like there were other pe people were like... <laughs> Somewhere else, <laughs> yeah. And me and Charles just were like, "Hang I back, hang back." Too. When, whenever you're alone with the guy, yeah. and there's a grape around. Throw something in his mouth. Just go, yo, dude. Huh? 
You, you, you. And every every you guy's accept? always like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you open right up. Dude. And then you go, that was perfect. Ah, it bounced out. Here, just use this one. Wash it off. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to waste grapes. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah, when you were like leading me, you're like, I'm going to walk. Go. Oink. It's so it's fun to It's so start rewarding to get it. It's the best. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 ah. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that was you're, perfect. It went to my throat. You're playing with fire. Yeah. Swish. My friend died. <laughs> I got a full swish. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to throw stuff in friends' mouths. Molly was, tr- dude. Molly is very good at. Uh, she knows that I don't really get annoyed with her, unlike other partners have. So she just feels full, f- like she has free reign to like mm-hmm. tickle me at any point, and she mm-hmm. does it at the best points or like throw shit at me. So we go to get popsicles, right? After ceremony. N- no. This is post Russia. No, this is just later at, night, later at night. We smoke okay. the joint. Our throats are burning. I go to get popsicles. She has the this like um, box of popsicles. So I don't know what flavor she wants, so I want to present her with all the flavors. So I grab it out of the freezer, and like the box is already ripped open. Dump it on her. <laughs> Dump all the popsicles on her. She squeals <laughs> like a little piggy. <laughs> I come right there. Frost those popsicles. <laughs> How was your night? <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry <laughs> to my mom. And father, everybody else is And everybody else listening. <laughs> so I throw these popsicles on her, and she like, oh, like really involuntary. And that's how I react when I get tickled. Like if she just, uh, my muscle spasm. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, yeah, just when you tickle me, I lose control. <laughs> and she got me in the middle of me saying control. So I was like, I lose control. Oh! <laughs> it was so perfect. And then you guys both she laughing. She put popcorn in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, it's too much. Punched <laughs> you in the face, called you a fag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sack tap. Yeah. That's right. Bean dip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that to a Smell girl? <laughs> you ever bean dip a girl on accident? No. Was bean dip a popular What's thing? It was whatever. It was different per se. Is that what they called the butt Arizona, picker? It's near Mexico. It was a hey, bean it's dip. bean dip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do this to somebody. Everyone thought he killed himself. <laughs> Turns out that weird kid didn't kill himself. Bean dip. What's up? Hey, man. Frijoles. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was Arizona, it's you gotta this, remember. Yeah, this. You do that to a oh, kid in yeah, like high yeah. school, middle school? We call it a bean dip. Yeah, you, well, describe for the audio listeners. You go under, you, you lift scoop. up on the man boob. Yeah, you scoop it. Like a Tostitos. Like a Tostitos scoop. Under the boob. There we go. And it would be more I wanted to get the, the ad read. The kids in. that were chubby because you actually had something to pick on to. It well, was a bean dip, weird. and yeah. you jiggle their tits. Uh huh. And then sometimes. Too many guys would get so used to hanging out with guys all the time that would like a girl that would be in the hang. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> they would accidentally bean dip just out of muscle memory. And then you realize she is like other girls. Yeah. She gets mad. <laughs> she gets mad at the bean dip. I that guacamole really? was not for everyone. Yeah. I'm dating Ryan. He's a quarterback. <laughs> I hang out with you because so you're accident- close to him. You accidentally bean dipped. I was a- asking you if you've ever bean dipped. <laughs> okay. I've done that to my girlfriend and she gets pissed. Yeah. And Molly also goes for my nipples all the time. Oh, that's just beep, beep. Oh, jeez. Your girlfriend sounds like she's trying she's to a, she's a little, yeah. yeah, she is. She's a little imp. I called her a little, you're such a devil, aren't you? How'd you take that? <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> to say it like that. You ever have this when you're high, your tone misfires? So you say something in the different... Uh, yeah, 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 of course. ...emotion or something yeah. than you were trying to? And I'm like, oh, I know I sounded really pissed, uh, but I was trying to be, like, silly. Trying to be goofy, I just yes. misfired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just boo! Went out the muzzle wrong. You ever say this happened to me? This is just a, another thing in faux pas where I felt like I was with somebody, uh, just a couple of dudes hanging out, and there was like a hot girl that walks by, and my one of the our, my our buddy was like, "Hey, you ever cross the street to like look at a girl's butt? Like you're walking, you're like, I don't cross the street, I'm going the same way. May as well check out a butt. Why not? And this guy goes, "What? <laughs> <laughs> the one rule about butt club is you don't talk about butt club. Yeah, exactly. And he was like, you know, you're like Shh, check, keep, check, check, checking a pair of tits. And yeah. then I try to lighten the mood, and I go like, "Yeah, follow him home." And he's like, "Yeah, what? What is this? Is this a comic or a random guy? It's a couple of comics. So okay. I don't wanna, you know, the past has taught me. This is where you. <laughs> Who is it? Tell me right now. No, we're gonna cut. These are hot. I'm gonna cut it. No, you're gonna use this against me somehow. And cut. We're back. Oh my God, those two uh, paintings look like ghosts. Oh wow. I Jesus gonna, Christ. Yeah, it looks like. You see those? Yeah, it looks like Jeepers Creepers. You see those too? <laughs> That's a fun bit. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a fun life bit I've been doing. If someone's like, you know her? I'm like, you see her too? (laughs) (laughs) I did that at a family. Well, it was the funeral, but the family reunion. And there was a, well, no, there's like people you haven't met because there's like distant people. Uh And so someone's like, who is that? And I'm like, so you can see her as well. 
big laugh. Uh, it got a laugh? It got a laugh, yeah. Okay. It got a laugh. Yeah. Funny. Yeah, I'm lying to you, but it got a laugh. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. What were we saying? You tied me as... Oh, I was telling you, smear oh, the queer. Smear queer. Well, we had a... S- <laughs> We, it's the game. You have the ball, and the guy with the ball, you gotta like run him down. So, dude, it was. I mean, we had like packs of twenty, fifth, like fifteen to twenty kids in a swarm. Yeah, like chasing. What do they call someone that? Down a, a swarm of kids. Yeah. Um, a, I don't know. A chorus of. <laughs> a chorus of. Ba- uh, the babes. <laughs> I don't know. A bro. A glob. A broop. A boy glob. A glob. A blob. A blob of boys. Yeah. And a few rough around the edges girls would be in this blob chasing you. And uh, I, man, I remember I took down, you know, some of the fast kids. Yeah. If you could take down a fast yeah, kid, it then was you're almost as good yeah, as being a fast kid. Yeah. So, I, dude, I, he was carrying the ball. He was like running as fast as he could. And I sprinted up to him and just arm around the neck. Whoa. Like horse collared him. And I took him down like, wah! Too hard. Oh, really? Some, yeah. Some, pe- I was like, yeah, and some people were like, "What, dude? You smeared that queer? Yeah, a little too much uh, smear on that too queer. Much smear on that guy. Yeah, yeah bagel, a lot of cream cheese. Is anybody <laughs> going to eat it? it. Just leave some for the rest of us. So then it was the thing. Like, did you have to say sorry? No, to I kid? wasn't. A, I mean, it, he was, uh, you know, he, Taylor. He didn't want to seem like a pussy either. Oh wow. So it was kind of like, dude, I'm fine. But it's like, you know, Jesus Christ. Nice. Sorry, man. Then we bumped dicks. Um, so you never ran around and tried to get tackled by a blob of boys? I think... <laughs> That's yeah. weird. It's weird he didn't do that. Yeah, we called that church. Yeah. Wing! Shing! <laughs> I <laughs> love doing that, but nobody gets it. Sometimes I've done this where somebody does like that. That's the game I play when I hear like uh, punchlines that are kind of cheesy. You know, like a roast and a punchline. Like, and then I said, we'll be at shows like, Nice. And uh, I've done it sometimes when you guys aren't around. I'll do like Brendan. They're like, <laughs> right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to agree. I don't actually you're not supposed think to agree. Is, yeah. And I'll go. <clears throat> <laughs> and they're like, oh, she's killing. And I'm yeah. like, no. That I mean, not that's not a sentence. That's fine. She that's, is killing. That's best case. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. The women of New York are much funnier. Very, very funny. Well, they get a lot of stage time. <laughs> yeah, oh! they do. What the fuck? Practicing. Would you be getting on stage if you had your jokes in my body? If we put my jokes in your body, I'd be at the top. <laughs> um, what are we talking about? Uh, oh, Smear the Queer. So what? Oh, that was the oh, story. Oh, no, we had an assembly. About had, Smear the Queer? Yeah, Or yeah. how to? Yeah, she's like, we got to find him. <laughs> we got to locate this guy and smear him. Um, no, we started we, a campaign. Had, she's like, we will need to rename it. It's already a violent game that I like. they banned it. They had a big... Oh, she's wow. She's like, I hear a game has been being played. And we all knew she was going to say it. And we're like, say it. Fucking say it. Say the, say the name of the game. Smear the... I don't even want to say it. We're like, Is that what she said? Yeah. Collectively, the whole student body. Oh, oh. What is it, queer? <laughs> say it into a microphone. Mrs. Kang. Mrs. Kang. Mrs. Kang. Yeah. That sounds like something you'd smear. Real scorpion of a lady. Oh, really? Just, just a venom? short... Yeah, just a short, like... Ectoskeleton yeah, having hard, uh, bitch hard principal. Body. Yeah. Short, hard body bug lady. <laughs> so I think we had to rename it. She's like, we will need to think of better names. We're like, what are some? I think she asked for suggestions, like drown the clown. Drown the clown. Drown the clown. Well, that's Bag not the, the never clowns. mind. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, tag it. The f- no. <laughs> okay. Uh, pray the gay Do away. the bu- No. <laughs> pray. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right, let's welcome to the tag lab. Let's, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what we got. All right, so gay. We got gay. What else? We got like queer. The teen and we men in black with us off the guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, okay, homo. Mm. Okay. V. That feels good. Not enough ammo. Homo the homo. Crossbow. <laughs> What's that? What, what, what would that be? <laughs> Um, yeah, we could probably end it. I'm pretty tired. Okay, let's do it. Let's end thanks it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. We're going to take the rest of this episode to the Patreon. If you want to listen, I'm putting up stuff there soon. It's a lot of work. I hate editing. But Every- check out the Patreon. And uh, Charles, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and all other uh, social media. You can find me on social media platforms with Char. Oh, my God. Find me everywhere online. Charles underscore Ingle. Zach, where can they find you? At Zach Russell Comedy. Um... We can talk about, yeah, we got a lot of fun facts 
and worst cook coming stuff up. that I never talked about. Yeah, we got some stuff coming up. Uh, we're back at the stand. Everything's been fun. We're in a better mood. Please tune in. Tell your friends about us. Leave a review. Uh, check out the Patreon. It's only like $5. Five it's bucks. Great. You support Five us. Bucks. Come on, guys. We have to do work and work jobs we don't like. Anyway, Zach is a dad. I'm Zach's a, a full-time I'm father. A, I'm a full-time dad. And Jew now. It's like their I second I mean, that's so chance. hard to do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep listening. Rock on. And rock on. Rock out. Sometimes people tell me that Eleanor still like uh, thinks about me and complains that I'm, and I'm like, I was a good babysitter. I knew I did because I didn't show affection. I was uh, like, I'm yeah. never showing affection. Peter dirty. You. Yeah, I played her. Well, I just my mom her. <laughs> I was like, oh wait a minute. I raised her like I know the only way I knew how, from a distance. Yeah. Just At arm's like, length. Don't touch me. Don't look at me. I'm your babysitter. I'm not your friend. <laughs> not your fuck buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Overshadowed out. <laughs> Hope you feel brought into the light. <laughs> um, I hope you find a ring light at a, ho- at a hotel near you and take it the sexiest picture so you've great. ever seen. Put the One old time, filter on. I kn- do you ever have a mirror face growing up really quick? Like a face that you would like, oh, that's what I, here's Maybe. my, ho- do that's, y- that's what I can do. Do your hot face yeah. to yourself. Oh, shit. I think I had one, but I didn't realize. And one time I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, and my friend was like, you have a mirror face? I was like, oh, what? I was like told everybody. How'd you get in here? Yeah. Yeah.